Alright, hey guys. So today I'm going to be opening the Hatterene V box for the Champion's Path collection. I finally managed to get my hands on something from Champion's Path because they've been sold out everywhere. But I managed to go to my local Toys R Us and they had two of these. And one of which I'm going to hold on to for a little while to see if uh, Champion's Path keeps going up and up and up because uh, the prices on the aftermarket are incredibly ridiculous right now. So we've got the promo card, the oversized promo card, and four packs for Champion's Path. We are looking for either the shiny Charizard V card or the rainbow Charizard V Max card. So that's going to be hopeful. That's what I'm hoping to get out of this because both of them right now are going for about five to seven hundred dollars Canadian. Um, but uh, you'll see the prices in American, obviously, because it's easier and a more known currency. All right. So we've got the Hatterene V promo card. We've got the oversized Hatterene V promo card. I do collect these, though I hate Hatterene. And then we've got our four packs. And so who we got on the front? We got one of each. We've got our um, Gigantamax or Dynamax Gardevoir, Obstagoon, the Gigantamax Alcremi, and I believe that's the Gigantamax um, Dreadnought. So we'll start with Obstagoon because I don't like him as much. So I'm pretty sure it's one, two, three, to the, uh, four to the front because of the energy card. There are a bunch of reverse energies in this set that I wouldn't mind getting, but uh, I think they take the place of the regular reverse, so they shouldn't take the place of the Charizard. So we got Steel Energy, Piers, Sharpedo, Rotom Bike, Potion. Oh, cute little Vulpix. Shell's probably going to want to keep that. Rock Ruff. Kakuna, Hatena, our reverse is a Carvana, and on the end we have a Hollow Scrafty. Not a great start. We'll go with the Guard of War next, covering up one of our packs down here. One, two, three, four. Psychic Energy, Hop. Field Stadium, Pokemon Center Lady, Hatena, Machop, Pokeball, Kakuna, Swablu, our reverse is a Scraggy to go with the Hollow Scrafty we already got, and on the end we have the Hollow Hatterene to go with the Hatterene V. Just for getting uh, Hollows so far, we'll go with the Alchemy next. I like Dreadnought actually, and I'm not a big fan of Alchemy. One, two, three, four. Fighting Energy, Arbok, Sharpedo, Malamar, Kakuna, Hatena, Inke, Swablu, Ekans. Our reverse is the Arbok again, and on the end we have a Hollow Obstagoon. So it looks like I'm gonna say that we probably get a Hollow in every pack. Which is alright. But I mean, I'd rather the the V cards at least. We've got Water Energy, Victini. Oh, that's a cool Victini. I'm also looking for one of the commons is a Weedle. It's done by Yukimori in the clay style. I would like that for my collection. We've got uh, Team Yell Grunt, Pokemon Center Lady, Hatena, Swablu, Ekans, Machop, Nickit. Our reverse is a Hatrum. We did get the whole set in this. And on the end, we have a Dreadnought V. I mean, it's not the best out of the set, but we did get something better than just a Hollow. That's actually a pretty cool card. 
All right, so uh, that's the, the box. We only get four packs. They kind of suck. But I did get them for like $21 Canadian. That's a, a pretty good deal. Um, there was a, a sale on where you could get 30% off uh, Pokemon boxes, uh, but they weren't supposed to be the Hatterene V ones, but it looks like I got the 30% off because they were marked as like $32 and I got them for $21. So overall, not the worst unboxing, not the best, but I will see you guys next time. <laughs>